Hello everyone, it is I, RaritiFango31VA, and welcome to another Arc 5 Manga Live Reaction Scale 43 Head to Head Cards. And yeah, this is the new Arc 5 Manga chapter, just released maybe an hour or two ago. I just woke up from a nap, so if I seem a little tired, um, that's why. And yeah, we're gonna get right into this. Um, I have seen nothing of this chapter, no spoilers, no nothing, seen absolutely nothing. So this will be my raw impressions for you all. And if you are in one of the, you know, any of the countries that have Shonen Jump legally or any of the other sites, I keep forgetting there's another site that lets you do this as well, I forget the name. Um, so please lead along, read along with me and stuff. If I stumble, as I said, I just woke up a little while ago and I'm not feeling the best, but reading Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 usually always makes me feel better. And yeah, let's get right into it. In a fight between us, the gods just get in the way. Oh, oh god, Ragey, what are you doing? Oh goodness. Oh goodness, okay. Oh goodness. Okay. I'm gonna make sure Reiji is, has fun, no matter what, okay. I think I heard about this card is the only thing I heard there was a new card. Well, of course, every manga tab there usually is a new card. Alright, Pendulum Match. Um, once, on once during each turn, each of our turns, I randomly special summon a Pendulum Monster from my extra deck. And you can do the same with a monster with the same skill from your deck. When that battle phase ends, those monsters are destroyed. Hmm. Okay, it's a head-to-head -head card battle. Okay, I get where the chapter name's from. This is gonna be a dual chapter, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's get through this. Alright, you and Yuriji, both 4,000 life points. Oh, my boys, Adam. Not Adam, I mean Isaac and Ren. Yes. Okay, it doesn't mean, doesn't feed it soon. Oh my gosh. I thought Reiji was throwing a dual disc at Yuya, but that's just Yuya's arm. Alright. Glare Wing! Yay! An inrexable power awakens the demon of casualty? Wait, demon? Is that supposed to imply something? Is that a Zark reference? The demon of casualty? Ooh. I don't think that means anything, but that's an interesting choice of words. And it's skill for, okay. So he's gonna summon... Um, King Maxwell! Hey! That was like Reiji's ace in the beginning. Okay. Due to clearing the fact you negate attack. Okay. Okay, so he has no battle damage. Okay. So he knew that. Okay. Oh gosh, Shingo! Oh, what is that beauty panel? What the heck is this? Okay. This reaction might be a lot shorter. Because the last chapter had some actual, like, you know, like, story content that wasn't just dueling, so... What the heck is up with Yuya's face right there? Like, what the heck is him in this little duel? It's kind of cute. Okay. Is he gonna win? I don't think Yuya's gonna win in this chapter. No way, there's not enough time for it. Because he has to probably gonna summon all the dragons with the three turns. That makes sense. Okay, he got an action card again. Okay. So he summons Starving's enemy. Okay. So he used Yuri's Chan, okay. Um, hey, it's the Zero King Lab Place. Funny story about this card from my personal experience. It comes in the Volume 3, um, you know, Volume 3 promo card. When I got mine in English, I never got my copy, even though I pre-ordered it like months ago before. Like, yeah, I never got the promo card for that. Not that I necessarily cared. I'm not a big fan of this monster, but that eh, still would have still been nice. Okay. They're attacking. So it gets twice its attack. You took the damage. Oh, Soren Shun! Oh, sh this is cute. Oh, sorry for my language. Oh, crap. I did not mean to curse. Damn it. I'm gonna have to censor that. Well, um, I usually don't do that, but obviously I'm still not awake fully, so I'm not watching my language, which rarely happens, if anything. Oh, gosh. Yes, rarity does curse. I am an adult. I die not to, but I can. Apparently people are making a big deal about that. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay, first glance, head on clash, you use monsters, okay. Tch. Yuya is a moron, so, okay. Aww. More Ren and Isaac panels, yay. Okay. He has no choice. Alright, what's he doing? What is that face? Oh, crap! What the heck is gonna happen? Why is he- Oh no... <laughs> Shun's face! That's beautiful! 
all in the bottom corner. That's beautiful. Oh, so he's smart. He's gonna jump below. Oh, crap. No. That's way too dumb. <laughs> Zuya, I think. <gasps> Flashback again. Yes. Wasn't expecting this. More flashbacks. Yes. Plot. Why am I... Do oh, you show that face. That's cute. Yeah, why am I dual tainer? Yeah. Kid, this is no time for annoying questions. But the answer is simple. Just because. <laughs> you show so simple. What do you mean? It's complicated, so I don't know. It was stupid of me to ask. However, it's better than dueling with a frown, isn't it? But when dueling for keeps, frowning is only natural. Yeah, I bet people pin all sorts of things on duels. Their pride, their honor. If they win, they're happy. And if they lose, they're frustrated. They may even resent their opponent. Of course. But serious duels aren't Mortal Kombat. That's a, that's a funny joke because video game. Afterward, I want duelists to feel good because they gave their all and they have to respect each other's effort and that requires a smile. I kind of like their flashbacks in the middle of this, these chapters. You know, wait, wait. Is that person in the middle with the heart thing? Is that supposed to be Katori? Is that a Katori reference? It looks a lot like her from Zexel, you know, the main girl Zexel. Is that Katori? I'll have to examine that further, but there's something about the way that's drawn. I mean, I know Miyoshi did the Zexel manga, I mean, that's a reference. Plus, Yoshi did Zexel. It puts you in a smile, right mood for that. I won't let people fret during a duel. That's what a duel pointer I want to be. But even if you want your opponent is dead serious, then I do the unexpected, something new. <laughs> Aww. This is cute. This was needed in the anime. We know Yuya, like, liked dual taining and he got it from his dad, but I like this talk right here where Yuya's acting like a normal person would, and it's his dad and the way that his philosophy actually affects him. This is really nice. I like this. Ah, oh, I wish- I wish we had the other U-boys in this scene, but maybe there's a reason for that? I don't know, but... Hey, it's, um, Sky Magician! Hey, that is a beautiful um, full-page art. That is gorgeous. I miss Sky Magician. He has a pretty cool ability. Yuzu's face! Okay, so you get caught a vine. He's Tarzan! <laughs> he almost knocked them over. Oh my god. <laughs> and he grabbed it. Yay! He did it! <gasps> He's like... Oh crap, this page. If you are a pendulum shipper, do you not see the way that blush? Oh. Is this implying pendulum shipping? I don't think it is. I know the end of the Zexal manga implied key shipping, but oh my goodness. Um, Icy Spirit. Aw, okay. And then he summons his uh, Dark Infilion. Aw, oh, all right. March 20th, guys. And that is it. That is the chapter. I'm not sure how long this review has been going on because the way I like do these, I can't exactly look at the time. But I will say this chapter was really good. Best part, once again, is the comedy and the flashback scenes. Is that person Katori? Is that a Katori reference? I'm not sure. But pretty cool if that's an Easter egg for Zexel fans, if that is an Easter egg. But I really like this scene. I feel like I want to dub it, or just these little Yusho and Yuya scenes, because they're really nice. I kind of like how it's a callback to the first Yuya and Reiji duel, which is the only duel they've had in this manga, where they had a lot of flashbacks in between as well. I should have probably expected that. So I'm going to think next chapter is going to finish the duel up, and then chapter 45 will be our epilogue, is my prediction now. Obviously, my thoughts on this chapter will probably change for the review that I do of Lunamong and Yu Yu Everything. You guys can totally check that out. And I am excited for what's coming. I'm also sad. Um, and before I go, if you guys want to know what I'm doing next for the Archive Manga dubs, we are doing Scale 35, which is the Yu Boy backstory chapter, The Four Brothers Bond, which I know a lot of you have been requesting. So we will be doing that. And I will probably have a, besides the uh, manga drama video I did this month, I will probably also be doing a Eve voice drill video for my February voice reel, because I'm trying to do a voice drill video every month just to get some content. I know my schedule is very irregular, unlike some other YouTubers you probably know, but I appreciate all the patience for you guys. What I do isn't something I can necessarily do on my own. I mean, these videos and the voice reels are, but... I'm also a busy university student with a lot going on. Like this month in particular has been really hard for me for personal reasons. If you've been on my Twitter, then you might know part of why. But yeah, 
thank you all for all the support and I really hope you guys enjoyed the chapter and enjoyed everything. I had a great time reading it and I hope you guys had a great time listening to me react. And I will promise for future videos to not have cursing where I have to go in and actually edit it out. I am sorry for that. That slipped. I am a human being. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. And these are unscripted and I can't really go back and read you a live reaction because, you know, there is nothing to, you know, go back and redo. <sighs> so, yeah. Thank you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay happy and healthy and bye!